hallelujah glory to god you are welcome to prophetic intercession with amel it's always a privilege for me a rare one i do not take this for granted to be in a position where god can use me to communicate to you when god can use me to give you prophetic messages i always see that as a huge privilege so if this is the first time you're seeing me a special welcome to you and thank you so much for stopping by it is my prayer always that god is going to use this channel to minister to someone to tell you the mind of God, to help you know God for yourself, to help you have a better relationship with God. So please kindly subscribe if you're yet to do that. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you will be the first to know. God bless you as you do that. Hallelujah. To all my returning subscribers, a mighty God, God bless you to you. I love you so much. I am always praying for you. You are always in my thoughts. You are always in my prayers. Hallelujah. Glory to God someone under the sound of my voice there is somebody that is coming back to their life because something happens to them they are coming back a changed person a changed person altogether because of what happened to them you know when when someone is in a comfortable place they have the tendency to misbehave they have the tendency to feel entitled they have the tendency to you know want even the things that are not supposed to be given to them at that time they feel so entitled they feel like they had um the world is under their feet they feel like they are at the top of the world and they feel like everything is just at their back and call yes when someone is close they feel like every resource they need is already there just waiting for them but they don't know that there is always um there is something that will happen to you and that your reality will never be the same again everything about you is going to change when the lord dropped this prophetic word in my mind the what came to my mind was the story of the prodigal son you know why the son was with the father at home he felt like this is my father and he felt entitled normally if a child would get his inheritance when the father is no more it's something that is written in a will or you know they bless you with it but that son felt so entitled that he went to his father and said give me my own inheritance he asked for his inheritance while his father was still alive and because his father understood what was going on his father decided to give him his inheritance and he felt like he just won the jackpot he went out partying the, the bible says he went to a faraway land you know whenever you make life comfortable for people around you they feel like they're in a cage whenever you make life comfortable they feel like there is more out there to explore they feel like they can have better it's like um the in a relationship the 80 20 rule whenever you are with someone you're giving them 80 percent of what they ever need they feel like there is more out there to explore they feel like they are being caged the 20 they are not having is everything they want to have they feel like there is more you know so they want to go far away and enjoy all of that yes that is what the prodigal son did he went far away where he would enjoy and no one would disturb him or no one is going to conscientize him nobody knew him there i get i guess they just saw him as a rich young guy who has come around and ladies were ready to you know feast with him and eat up everything that he had and it got to a point where he got broke he got to a point where he started lacking even the very thing he had we go back st still to the 80 20 rule he felt like he wanted freedom and now that freedom had come and and taken away everything all of his his inheritance and he was left out there to dry no one where were all of the people that were that were spending the money with him we do not hear of them we hear that he was so hungry that he started working in a big star and no one, none of the people that were there to enjoy the money with him were still there. They were all gone. He was left with his reality that he just made the biggest mistake of his life. For once, he got into a reality check and he realized he made a mistake. And he told himself, I'm going to go back to my father. When he saw himself eating from the food that the pigs feed on, he saw and he realized that no i just i i, I had better even when, when i was without inheritance i had better and the servants in my father's house they have enough to eat food is not their issue and here i am 
here am I on the streets starving when there is just enough in my father. He says, I will go back to my father. He repented. He repented. The same guy who went back, the prodigal son who went back to his father was not the same son that left home. Because life taught him a great lesson. Life taught him that you cannot eat your cake and have it. Life taught him that it was a privilege for him to be in a family where he came from. He did not even need an inheritance before his father's death in the first place. He just had to stay at home and be of service to his father and enjoy the things that the father provided. Life taught him that it was a privilege to be in that position. And so when he was talking to himself and repenting, he said, I will go back to my father. And I will tell him I am no longer worthy to even become your son. Just treat me as one of your servants. That is enough for me. I just want to be around your life again. That is enough for me. I just want to be around your space again. That is enough for me. Someone left your life thinking they wanted freedom, thinking there was um, a lot outside. There, was, there were so many things to explore. But they have learned a bitter lesson. Something happened to them and they lost even their core values, the things that they felt like um, that is what they anchored on. They have lost it. And right now they are coming back to you a changed person. They are coming back to you hoping and praying, believing that they can even have a chance in your life. Hoping to even have a space around you. And I tell you the truth. If truly they are repentant, if what happens to them truly happened and they have learned their lesson if you ever give them an opportunity to be around you again they would not mess it up they are going to find it as a privilege as a matter of fact they are going to start tolerating even the very things that they refused to tolerate a long time ago they are going to be of their best behavior because they have realized that you gave them 80 and the 20 that is was not available was still better off than being on the streets and eating the food that pigs feed on hallelujah so when the lord gave me this prophetic word i learned that people would abuse of your kindness your 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 loyalty people will abuse of the things you do for them from a, from a heart of love they become entitled and when they have lost that thing it keeps them sober, it now makes them humble, they can now learn, they can now listen, and consequently, they are going to become better people. So you can, you, can, you can take them back if you want to, you can take them back, and they are going to be better, better people. Yes, I pray for you in the name of Jesus, that even as they broke your heart by their exit, may God keep on giving you the capacity to embrace them even though you are hurt may god give you the capacity to see the changed person in them and and not to conclude on them definitely in the mighty name of jesus may the lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in jesus mighty name amen